It is my honor to introduce to you the eminent personality on the dais, Shri K. Ganesh. Sir, assume charge as member life in Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India on 31st July 2019. Prior to joining IRDAI, Sir was the Executive Director Corporate Communications in LIC of India. Starting his career in 1983, Sir has worked with LIC of India and served the reputed organization in different capacities like Chief of Health Insurance and, and Executive Director Customer Relationship Management. With this brief introduction, I now request Sir to kindly address us all. Good morning, friends. Esteemed Director, National Insurance Academy, Mr. Srinivasan, the Chief Guest of the Day, Mr. M. R. Kumar, Chairman, LIC of India, my fellow colleague from the IRDI, Mr. Praveen Kutumbe, Chair Professor Life Insurance, Professor Venugopal, esteemed seniors from the Life Insurance Corporation of India among the audience, my colleagues, friends from LIC of India, the students from the NIA, ladies and gentlemen. It's a special pride in me when I participate in this function. I recall the years when I have participated in the C.D. Deshmukh Memorial Seminars as a participant, in a few years as a panelist. And this year, it gives me added pleasure to join you as we pay tribute to one of India's greatest sons for us in the life insurance industry, for us, Dr. Siri Deshmukh is the personality. It was his vision and sterling efforts that enabled the nationalization of almost 245 companies then operating in India and brought all of them under the Life Insurance Corporation of India. Dr. Chintaman Deshmukh at the time of the birth of the organization, LIC of India, had also outlined the eightfold objectives, a few of which uh, our director, NIA, has also mentioned about, and Mr. Kutumbe. The first message that comes out, and I'm sure all LICians will remember, is spread into the nook and corner of the country, reaching out to the people and offering the umbrella of insurance. I think, friends, this message of Dr. Deshmukh will reverberate in this country as long as even one Indian, eligible Indian, is still uninsured. And I'm sure that today, after the first nationalization and then with the opening up of the sector, today with 24 life insurers in the field offering their best products using varieties of distribution channels and trying to reach out to as many Indians as possible. I'm sure this dream of Dr. Chintaman Deshmukh will be realized and will have to be realized sometime soon. Friends, today it is also important to look back at what the life insurance industry has achieved over these last years. As of the 31st of March 2019, we have 33 crore enforced policies, 330 million policies where people are paying their premiums during the years. This is an awesome number. When we look back on this number of 330 million policies, let us remember to pay tribute to our agents who have gone out and met the policyholders and convinced them. It's never easy convincing a person about the need for life insurance then and probably even today. Talk about the supervisors of these agents, the branches of the various insurers then and today. The good products that have been prepared by the insurance companies and very nicely marketed by them. And also the role played by the regulator in ensuring that there is a 
proper care and attention to the policy holders, even while ensuring that the insurance companies are able to do their best for the people. 330 million policies and in one financial year, just last year alone, the total premium collected by the insurance, life insurers, was rupees 5.08 lakh crores. As Mr. Srinivasan mentioned, almost more than 2 crore claims were settled for the year. 2 lakh crores of claims has been settled. Now, all these are happening through the various offices of the country. Various innovative systems and processes have come in. In 2019, for the benefit of uh, particularly the students and also for those who are not regularly associated with the life insurance industry, the product regulations have been revamped. The product regulations were last revamped in 2013, the last day of 2013. So over the next five years, again studying the market and studying how things can become even more and more helpful to the policyholders, the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority has further modified the product regulations. And these, we believe, will further benefit the policyholders. I'm sure that as these products get rolled out, more and more of these customers will find these products of value to them and they will all come under more and more insurance cover. Some of the important features I thought I must share for those who are not familiar with these various new changes that we have brought about. There was a grievance that you will have to pay premium for three years only then some sort of a value will accrue and you need to maybe surrender your policy for any personal emergency. That has been brought down to two years. There has been also some improvement in the surrender value rates. There was also a demand from the pensioners that when I need a corpus, today what you are giving me is very limited. So up to 60% of the corpus on vesting of the annuity could be taken back by the customer for their immediate needs at that time. Like this, there have been good benefits that have been made available to the policyholders under the new schemes to be rolled out from now. And I'm very confident that these improvements in the products will certainly entice customers in larger numbers to avail of insurance. One of the criticisms that has been leveled against the life insurance companies and the agents in particular has been that there has been a lot of mis-selling. Limited information is shared with the policyholders at the time of the policy sale and thereafter people find that the product they purchased was not satisfying the planning that they had while purchasing this. Now already there have been initiatives taken by the regulator and there have also been individual insurance companies coming up with their own procedures to ensure that such type of wrong sales don't occur. In this new regulation, what we have also mandated the life insurers to come up with is with a benefit illustration which will give all details of the policy on an ongoing basis so that the customers will be aware at the time of taking the product what sort of benefit structures are getting built in in the product. There is also a new initiative that the regulator has asked the insurers to do, which is to have a suitability questionnaire so that evaluation of the customer's needs and the recommendation of the appropriate products, there can be a better fit. And thereafter, we hope this will lead to a more informed buy and this allegation that there is mis-selling in the life insurance industry will come to an end. This is not only for the life insurers to do. There are responsibilities of the buyer also. Today, there is a lot of information that is available to policyholders about products, about the company, about their claim settlements. Every facet of the insurance business information is available in the public disclosures 
of the various insurers and also the various public information available. I'm sure today's generation who are more techno savvy will find that this information will enable them to take an informed decision as they buy their insurance policies. We are also, friends, aware the government is also contributing in a large manner to increasing the awareness of the importance of insurance. The financial inclusion started with the Jandan Yojana, the Prime Minister Jandan Yojana. Today we have the Prime Minister's Vaivandana Yojana for senior citizens, the Jeevan Jyoti Bhima Yojana and the Suraksha Bhima Yojana, or, and the health insurance, the, uh, the Jan Aragya scheme. All these are contributing to increased awareness among the population. Insurance companies will also be further creating their own campaigns. You must have seen the Life Insurance Council has come up with the Sabse Pehle Life Insurance Campaigns. I'm sure the awareness that will get created by the initiatives of the government, the activities of the Life Insurance Council, and also by the individual efforts of the life insurers, the awareness will increase leading to more people buying insurers. And I'm sure on an occasion like this, as we pay tribute to India's greatest son, and particularly our former finance minister, Dr. Chintaman Deshmukh, on the memorial lectures and seminars, we will today analyze further as to how we can do better so that we reach out to the people, give them products they desire, serve them well through the lifetime of their policy and ensure that people remain protected always. It's been a pleasure, sir. Thank you very much for inviting me. And uh, I'm sure at the end of the day, as we get back, the discussion that we have had today will enable us to focus better, both in our insurance business and also as to our responsibilities to the policyholder. Thank you very much.